Hi Sally, how are you? How are you doing? So I did what many people try and do in January, which is start to purge. And I'm a pretty good purger, well I thought I was, because we move fairly frequently. One thing I'm not so good at purging is makeup. Uh, much of that is not because um, I like to have loads of it, I don't. Some of it is sentimental, it has a sentimental reason, it's something I wore on my wedding. The next few videos, and I'm not sure how many I'm going to do yet because this is my first, maybe two or three, will mainly be about all the makeup that I've kind of purged and thrown out. It might be interesting now, to share with you some of the things I'm, I'm throwing out. Some of the things are, most of the things are almost empty and I'm throwing them out because makeup expires and if you're not sure about uh, when and how long to keep cosmetics for or face makeup or all those sorts of things I will try and do a sheet or get some sort of information on my blog thelifestylelady.com but uh, I thought I'd sort of spit it up briefly and today I'm just going to cover kind of like face makeups concealers. Right the first thing is more of a skincare item this is by Kiehl's I love Kiehl's I love Kiehl's skincare for my body love creme decor hate the shower gel love the cream uh, so um, I do suffer a little bit on my nose with kind of larger pores and somebody once told me about this Kiehl's micro blur skin perfecter uh, I think it's a lightweight skin smoother instantly refined skin texture and I think it basically minimizes pores effectively let me show you now this is I'm gonna go give it a shake because there is still a little bit in here so it is slightly tinted and you give it this, you give it this, you give it this, no, you, you rub it on the back, you rub it in, and I think it effectively works as a barrier and minimizes pores, it kind of covers your pores really. It's like an extra layer of protector, but you know, it has very little fragrance. Now, here's the thing. Did I think it made a massive difference? Probably not. Did I think it was another product? Yes, I did. I think that's probably, because I live in a hot climate, you know, I'm so kind of obsessed with wearing with wearing like um, sun protector that I just felt I was layering and layering and layering my skin with stuff and, and I'm trying to avoid that. I did use it though uh, fairly religiously. It's probably about a quarter left and it has, you know, it has a funny odor now and it's kind of, I think it's lost some of its consistency if you listen to me shaking it, so it's time to go. So I would say if you like Kiehl's and you have big pores, give this a try. I'm gonna start with the two concealers that I have here. And actually, both of these concealers would be in my top three or four concealers. So, let's start. The first one is this. It is the Age Rewind Dark Circles by Maybelline. Now, this is a darn good drugstore concealer. In fact, I think it's better than a vast majority of much, much, much more expensive concealers. I believe you can buy this in the UK and Europe, and you definitely can buy it in the US. Now... The applicator is a little bit hit and miss. You take off the lid, you turn it up, and it comes out of the applicator. Allegedly it comes out, because this will tell you it's almost empty. There we are, I don't know if you can see. You, you put it on, it comes out on this kind of sponge, which is a wee bit grim, on the back of your hand. Can you see it there? It is really, I'm gonna just do a little bit here for you, so you can see. It is quite heavy going. Now I'm going to wish I hadn't done this. It's quite heavy going. You don't need a lot. If you're somebody who suffers, who needs a good concealer, you do have dark circles, you're a, you know, you've know, you got a mum of a youngster, or those sorts of things, or you suffer with a lot of pigmentation or blue around your eyes, this is fabulous. I urge you to buy it. It's lovely. And it, and it blends well into the skin, it settles well on the skin, it lasts all day. I'm just going to do this. Really good. What else is really good about it? As I've just exampled, you can put it on after you've had makeup. If you want to reapply, you don't really want to reapply face makeup, it's really good. That's good. Another really good concealer is this one by Lizelle. Uh, you know I'm a huge fan of the Lizelle brand. I really like this concealer. Again, it's a little bit like uh, the YSL Tochi Cla. You just turn the end. This color is medium, so this would be more my summer shade. Again, you apply it to your hand. I'm not doing that, I'm a bit cacans today. Again, it, it, it has a strong resemblance of the YSL. I don't know if you can see it. Here it is, the YSL. It does have a slightly stronger moisturizing factor 
than if you were comparing it to the Maybelline. The Maybelline does have a slightly, a very slight powdery feel, drying feeling after you've applied it. This will give you a much more moisturized look, a slight shine, like an illumination under your eyes. I can probably show you, which is gonna freak me out because, let me just take the most of it off because I'm not sure it's quite my shade at the moment, but if I just, it has more of an illuminating illuminator to it and it calls itself a light reflecting concealer so that's exactly what it is so if you are somebody who likes that slightly more shiny finish to your skin this is for you really good price point cheaper than YSL really good also another really good thing about Lizal doesn't contain any nasty so if you're someone with sensitive skin or somebody who who's very ethical and only likes organic uh, natural products Lizelle is for you, please go and check her out. Tinted moisturizers, of which I have two here. <laughs> a big one, had a baby, the small one. I always, always have this in my kit. The Tinted Moisture by Laura Mercier. Love, 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 love. I can't tell you how many of these I've been through. I'm the shade Nude, they're both in Nude. Let me give it a shake. Love this, such a light feeling, gorgeous in the daytime gives you enough coverage, not too much, still moisturizing and hydrating. You can get ones with oil free. What I love about this is an SPF of 20 in it and so does the sample size. This is great for makeup bags and travel. You know, I don't really need to talk too much about Laura Mercier. She's excellent. This is one of her cult products and there's, that's, there's no explanation necessary. There's a reason why it is. So I've already repurchased both of these. Again, another one very similar. Lizelle's Sheer Skin Tint. Very similar to the Laura Mercier. There, there's that one, it's a slightly different, slightly darker skin tone. Now this does provide to me, in comparison to Lizelle, um, in comparison to Laura Mercier, a slightly heavier coverage. Uh, it's less kind of loose in texture, so it takes more work to warm it up to get it across the skin. I think it was maybe, <laughs> Not last summer, the summer before, because time just seems to zip past for me. Everyone was talking about this. It Cosmetics, your skin but better CC cream. So this is in medium, so it's my summer shade. I went into Ulta and I got color checked and everyone was talking about this and yes, it's amazing. And I've probably used half of it. And the reason I don't like it very much is this, the fragrance. I do not like it. And, I, and that makes a difference to me. I'm going to give it a pump. Now, because we're now because we're on the inside of my hand. I don't know, the smell. Of, I'm going to rub it in my hand like this, because I've. It's not my current shade. Yet it has this kind of. I wouldn't even say. Like citrusy type smell. I wouldn't even insult citrus. I don't know. Chemically kind of laboratory type smell which I don't know why but it really bothers me the product actually is pretty good it gives quite a bit quite a strong coverage for a CC I this is the only CC I've ever tried let me preface that but generally the fragrance really put me off I, I've obviously used half of it so it does contain SPF 50 plus which is which is wonderful when you live in a climate like I live in or you're out in the Sun a lot so what I might do this summer is give this another try. Or if you have a CC cream, you think, Lifestyle Lady Kate, you have to try that. Please get in touch and let me know. But I think the product's great. The fragrance is grim. You win some, you lose some. So uh, only two more to go. The next one I've got is the True Match L'Oreal Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Now this, I think I Target. A lot of beauty bloggers love it. They say it's very close, I think, to the Giorgio Armani. I think a L'Oreal owned by the same house and people are basically saying it's almost the same product. I don't know if it's this one or another one which I have. Um, this is almost empty. So I think generally I've really liked it. I try a lot of products, so. Yes, gives a much stronger, this is much closer to my, my skin color. It gives a very good coverage. It's almost empty, so like no fragrance, a really, really good drugstore foundation. Finally, this one is empty kaput, and I think the reason I had it still was because I was, I'd been coloured matched and I hadn't written my phone what colour it is. 
This is a very popular foundation for a very good reason. It is the Makeup Forever Professional HD High Definition Foundation. It is a very, very good one. It comes in a lot of different colours. I don't even know if I can get a little bit out of this. Yeah, I can just about... This is more my colour at the moment, very ivory. It's a lovely, 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 lovely foundation. This It just is. It feels a little bit like the Laura Mercier in terms of ease of, of application. Uh, it's very smooth. What a, like, no fragrance, good coverage, has that high definite. Now, the high definition means that it's got the pigmentation, which makes it look beautiful in photographs. So if you're somebody who is getting, you know, going to a wedding or getting getting some some photographs done or something, I recommend this is a really good foundation for that. Uh, I don't think I need to say any more. If you Google it, there's loads of fabulous uh, reviews on it. It's fantastic. I will be probably repurchasing when I need another foundation because at the moment I'm using the Born This Way. I try very hard with face makeup, which is now all over my jeans, not to buy too many of them at once because you just can't get through them and that means wastage. So before you think, oh my God, you're just throwing away. I, I've had some of these for a long period of time. I try to only have like a tinted moisturizer and a coverage foundation in my kit at one time. Currently, at the moment, I have a couple of powders which I very seldom wear because my skin is usually dry and I just feel like it hides in the pores. So I probably only have the Estee Lauder, which you know I love, uh, the Born This Way, which I'm trying out at the moment, which is, at first, look at my hand, look how orange that is. Hi! <laughs> it really doesn't match. Um, I probably have the, I have the Born This Way, which at the beginning I thought, oh no, I don't like this, I can't work with it. Oh. But now I like it. <laughs> and I've been using it almost exclusively while I've been in Europe. And then I went back to the Estee Lauder and I thought, oh gosh, maybe I don't like that so much. So things do take time. So I urge you, if you have bought something, give it at least a week to work with it because textures are different, colours are different. It just takes time to find your flow with a product. So I think they might be the only two and then I've got a couple of powders. So I really don't have huge amounts of foundation products. I probably have a few more concealers, but uh, I try very hard not to be um, too extravagant with makeup, really. Maybe I'll, maybe if you'd be interested, I'll do a video of the stuff I have in my, in my uh, kit or in my box or in my thing, in my makeup, in my bathroom. Anyway, I digress. I have orange hands, <laughs> I feel like a clown. Uh, so guys, hope that was somewhat interesting. If you've got any comments, please let me know. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Have a great day, take care of yourselves. Speak to you soon, ta-ta for now.